Hey, this is Ken at Capital Advantage Tutoring. My job to get you past the Series 63 exam, the 65 and 66. So I created a chart and I did it one in a video, but I'm going to do a little more fun way. This time a little more pointy pointy. Um, again, let's get into this. If you like what I'm doing, hit like, subscribe and share this stuff. And meet me every Tuesday and Thursday night live on the tube of you at 8.30 p.m. I do a live Q&A. Lots of fun. You never know who's going to show up. Okay, so this is a fun little chart. Let's see how it goes. So, okay, the upper one, you can't see it, but it says firm. It doesn't fit. So everything up top, ooh, is a firm. It's an entity. It's a person, a legal person. On the below, down here, it's an individual. You can almost see it, right? Individual. So we're going to go into this. So over here, i got to remember to do this way, to the right, because i got to do to the right. Okay, so now, so for broker-dealer, they execute trades. So if you see execute trades, always think broker-dealer. That's the deal. Where do they register? With SEC, FINRA, and the state. If they do business in the state, they have to register. What does it business mean? Either an office or, or, or like iron ore, one retail client. Now, I would say if no, no office, no retail, no register. So again, broker dealer, if you see execute trades, look at my name. That's funny. Broker deal executes trades to the SEC, FINRA, and the state. All SEC, FINRA, and the state, any state they do business in. So they don't have to be registered where they don't have clients. So if they have no office and no retail, they don't have to register. Again, this is a high level thing. Now, back to this. If you're Canadian, if your client's visiting, you don't have to register. It's sort of like a limited registration, but it's not really full registration. Also, what's not a broker dealer? A bank, an issuer, an IA, an IA or an agent. Those things are not broker dealers. So if you say, oh, which one is a broker dealer? Or which They'll say, what is a broker dealer? And it may say an agent an individual remember broker deal is a firm you can't see it m there it's firm okay so a broker deal is a firm it's an entity now again they register all three not one or the other they're the only one that registers all three okay now let's go to the person who works for them i'm gonna go this way so we've got the agent Ooh, this is fun this is the agent that's an individual where do they register finra in the state you notice no sec because the sec does not do individuals so now Here's the deal. The agent doesn't actually have the no office, no retail rule, but it does say if the age if if the agent is exempt, ask yourself, is the broker dealer exempt? If the broker dealer is exempt, so the agent. Now let's talk about that for a second. If I'm an agent and I have retail clients, I have to register. If I have an office, I have to register. That's a no-brainer. Now, if I am an agent and I only have institutional clients in the state, I may or may not have to register. It all comes down to this. Is my broker dealer registered in the state? If yes, then I have to register. If they're not, I don't. So like I ran a broker dealer, we had an office in New York only. We had institutional clients all over the country. We didn't register anywhere. They Nobody registered anywhere but in New York where we lived and worked. Okay. Now, if I had an office or if we were registered in Ohio and they had only hedge funds or broker dealers in Ohio, they would have to register too. So again, it's... If the age, if the broker deal is exempt, so is the agent. Now let's keep going. Now, if you work for an issuer, now remember this: if you work for an issuer, and the security or the transaction is exempt, you don't have to register. Again, if you, again you can't begin a commission, but at high level, if agent of an issuer, you work for the issuer, not the broker dealer. Remember, you're working for the issuer, not the broker dealer. If the security or transaction is exempt, then you are also. If the client's on vacation or you're on vacation. Remember, a broker deal is exempt if the, I did that before, I don't know why I wrote it twice. Who cares? It is fine. Okay, what's not an agent? A bank, issuer, broker dealer, IAAR. So if they say, well, it's an IAR, it's not an agent. Remember, so an agent is an individual that works for the broker dealer doing transactions. It's not an agent, a bank, an issuer, a broker dealer, IAAR. This is so fun, all this moving stuff. Okay, all this creaking chairs. Now, let's jump up here. Over here, IA. What's an IA? It's a firm. Again, it's a firm because it's top level. ABC, agent, broker, commission. No, that's a wrong thing. ABC, advice, business, compensation. I'll leave that in there just because it's fun. If you give advice as a business for compensation, or and if you see make recommendations, I couldn't fit recommendations in there. So if you see make recommendations, my fingers are all over the place. Let me do this one. Oh, no, there. So if I make recommendations, Think IA, real world broker dealers, everyone makes recommendations. But now that's a good question. When would a broker dealer not be an, would be an IA? A broker dealer would be an IA if they start charging for the advice. 
Because, yes, broker-dealers give advice all day long. This going back and forth is killing me. Broker-dealers do give advice all day long. Hell, how can you shut up an agent? Um, but they don't charge for the advice, so we don't care. But now, on the IA side, they actually charge for the advice. So let's get into this. Now, if you're a federal, ooh, if, you're, if it's a Fed covered advisor, if you have assets under management of $110 million or more, or you manage investment companies, you are automatically federal. You must be a federal covered advisor, which means you're registered with the state. Because remember, you register either federally or state, never both. What does federally mean? It means the SEC. So IAs are SEC or state, never both. So we're back to this. So if your AOUM is 110, more, 110 million or more, or, or you manage investment companies, like you're the portfolio manager, you have to register with the SEC. Now in the middle, or... If your AUM is between 100 million and 110 million, or you're in 15 states or more, you can register with ACC or you can register with the states. Now, down here, state, if you're under assets under management under 100 million. Now, here we go. If you do business in a state, you have to register in a state. Remember, never both. So if you have an office or more than five retail, so if you have office, this is so ugly. If, you're, if you have an office or more than five retail clients, you have to register in the state. Now, here's the thing. If you're a federal covered advisor and you meet that same rule of having an office or more than five retail clients, you have to notice file. Again, I'll do this again. If you're a state advisor under 100 million, you have an office or more than five retail clients in a year, you have to register. If the same situation happens and you're federal covered, again, you have an office or more than five retail clients, but you're, re but you're SEC registered, you have to notice file. Now, what's not an IA? Bank issuer, broker, dealer, agent, IAR, and plate. They say late, I say plate. Publishers, lawyers, accountants, teachers, engineers, okay? Broker, bank, is look at that. Bank's pretty consistent. Bank's never anything. Bank's like a fucking ghost, right? Okay, now, issuer's not, broker, dealer's not, agent's not, IAR, plate. Now, remember that on the question, they may go, oh, they may ask a question, and, and you'd have to knock stuff out to say what's well, not a broker, dealer. Just go down the list. If it's a bank or an issuer, broker, dealer, agent, IAR, it's not or a publisher, a publisher, lawyer, accountant, teacher, engineer, not an IA. Now, again, if they start char if those plate people start charging a separate fee for advice, then they would be an IA. We're just giving them an out because they kind of give advice. We give advice all day long like, as part of our other business. We're not charging for that. Okay, now, this way, I'm going to turn this way. Here we go. IAR, IAR is an individual that works for an IA. Again, agent is an individual that works for a broker-dealer. IAR is an individual that works for the IA. Good. Now, they give advice on behalf of the IA. They register state only. This is the only place they can... Oh, so let's go through this. Broker dealers, all three. SEC, Finner in the state. Agent is Finner in the state. IA is Fed or state. SEC or state. IARs are state only. Good. Okay. So if they have an office or more than five retail clients, they have to register. That's if they work for a state covered IA. So if you're an IAR for a state-level IA, you have an office or more than five retail clients, you must register. Now, if you work for a federal covered advisor, follow the, follow the bouncing finger. Unless you, if you work for a federal covered advisor, then only if you have an office, the number of retail doesn't matter. So if you have a million clients in Idaho, which is literally the whole fucking state, but if you had every person who lived in Idaho as your client, but you had no office, you would only have to register if you worked for a state advisor. I'm going to go back up because I'm going all over the place. If you're an IAR for a state level advisor, either of an office or more than five retail client, have to register. And they may say six or more, but it's or more than five. Either is the same thing. Now, if I'm working, if I'm an IAR for a federal covered advisor, if I'm an IAR for a federal covered advisor, I only register if I have a place of business. The number of clients doesn't matter. Now look here. What's not an IAR? A bank, an issuer, IA, BD, agent, and then plate. I should have read plate, but it didn't mess up there. So just drag that shit down there. Okay, so I'm going to get out of the way. If you like this, take a picture of it. Cool. Let me get out of here. There you go. Look, I am much better looking like this. Okay, everyone take a picture of that, and it'll help. I think it'll help with a nice little cheat sheet. I'm going to put this out there. I thought this was a more fun way to do it, even though you have to look at my freaking face the whole way. Guys, don't forget, check me out every Tuesday and Thursday on the tube of you, 8.30 p.m. Tuesday and Thursdays, and uh, hit like, subscribe, and share if you think it's great. Okay, I'll talk to you all later.